Hello and welcome to College to Consulting. We're on our market sizing series and before I've gone over how to do market sizing by age, by profile, which is a little bit more unique, and now I'm going to go into something called how to do market sizing by household. And household is really not that complex. It's just like age and profile, but you have to make one assumption in the beginning. Okay, so let's go into an example. Let's say you get this question. How many TVs are sold annually in the US? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw my market sizing table. I'm gonna put in some necessary fields or columns that I know I'm going to need. And now I'm gonna put in the different rows for categories and groupings. Okay, so I need to ask myself, is this an individual product or a household product? And I know that this video has household in the title, but think about it. Are people buying TVs for themselves, one per person, or is it used and shared among people, uh, multiple people in a house? In this case, I'm going to say that it's shared, unless you are really rich and living with a bunch of other rich people and they all want to buy a TV for themselves. Okay, so because of that, I'm going to say this. This is the upfront assumption I'm going to make. There are 300 million people in the US, not 320 like I usually do, but 300 million people. And I'm going to say that there is an average of three people per household, meaning 300 divided by three, 100 million households in the US. I'm also gonna say that the households are evenly distributed across the US. I know this is completely false, but it'll make your math easier and it's just an assumption. I'm also gonna assume that there's only one TV per household. Again, completely false, but for now, this is just the assumption. All right, so I've made my assumptions out. Now I need to put people in, or households in different regions. I'm gonna put the number of million of households there are per region, the percentage that are buying a new TV, and the total million number. I'm also gonna put in some notes to explain some characteristics about that region. So I'm going to say there's the East Coast, the Midwest, the West Coast, and the South. And I'm going to put, this is the total. I apologize to anyone from Hawaii or from Alaska. Okay. Now, I said that it's evenly distributed of 100 million. So 100 million households divided by four different groups gives me 25 million households per group. Now, be careful. Before we had been using 80, when we had a 320 million population, so the math was pretty easy. Now you have a 25. This 5 on the end will throw some people off. So just try to use uh, try to use numbers when you do your percentages that start with an even number, like a 20%, 40, 60, 80. It'll make things easier for you than doing 10% or 30%. Trust me. Okay. Go through the same thing. So in the East Coast, we have 25 million households. I'm gonna say that these people are usually very busy at night, so they probably don't really even care that much about TV. So they're not really buying a new TV annually. I'm gonna say only 20%. I know two times 25 is five. So it's 20 though. So I'm gonna say it's five, okay? Uh, now I'm gonna say from the Midwest, I have 25 million people again. I'm gonna say that there are probably more people who are buying TVs because they're more focused on home goods and maybe they have less stuff to do. I'm gonna say this number is 60%, okay? Uh, so that works out to 15. Now, a little trick that you can do, instead of multiplying six, 60 times 25, and that's like 30, and I do this, and then I do 12 plus another three, what you can do is, because I'm using I have one constant, this 25 million number, and I'm just multiplying uh, this 25 by 60, and I originally used 20, which 60 is three times of. I'm just gonna multiply the total by three to make my life easier. So I'm just gonna say, all right, if I know it's 60, 60 is three times 20, that means that three times five must be 15, okay? I just try to look for shortcuts to make your math easier to do. The West Coast, I'm gonna say, that there's maybe more outdoor activity. So again, not as really focused on TV, but still a fair amount. I'm gonna say this is about 40. So 20 got me five. So now if I double it, 
I should get 10. And the last group is the South. Let's say the South, they have bigger homes and there's probably home at night when they're out in the country. So I'm going to say that of these 25, uh, it's a good amount, 60. Again, this is 15. Okay, I'm going to reuse numbers to make my life easier. So I just have to add them. 5 plus 15 gives me 20. 20 plus 10 gives me 30. 30 plus another 15 gives me 45. That means I have 45 million TVs that are sold annually in the US. And what am I going to do? I'm going to circle this number. I'm going to put it in my interviewer's face and show them that I got this. Again, no math on this sheet of paper. It's the same thing as doing a breakdown by age or profile, except now you're just making the one assumption up front that there are 300 million people and three people per household, giving me, giving me 100 million households. Okay, hope that makes things clear. For additional material, if you've missed it, I have what is market sizing, introduction, market sizing by age, and last, how to do market sizing by something called profile. All right, thank you very much.